Hello my lovely people, I'm Lily and welcome back to my channel, my Lily Land. Today's video, I'm going to share another nighttime skincare routine, the one that I follow when I'm not feeling lazy and whenever I see wrinkles, whenever I'm seeing my face in the mirror. So the difference from my previous video would be the vitamin A, in this case I'm using retinoid. I'm a completely beginner of using vitamin A, but when you start noticing the signs of aging, you need to start using retinoids. First things first, I'm going to start with my CeraVe foaming cleanser. I'm using this one because it's the one that I have at the moment, but also I'm using this one since it has these ingredients. It has ceramide, niacinamide, and also hyaluronic acid. If I have to use retinoids in my routine, I would use a simple cleanser, especially without any aha or baja, <laughs> now yolk, any AHA or BHA, because these ones are chemical exfoliants. Mixing AHA or BHA with vitamin A, it may lead to skin irritation. A step that I would recommend, pat pat dry your face with a towel before applying retinoids. Since toner is optional, I'm not using it right now, because I want to make sure that my face is completely dry. It's very important to wait until your skin is completely dry since using retinoids on damp skin can cause irritation. And now, the star ingredient of the video. I will be using my Gran Active Retinoid 2% in Squalane from The Ordinary. This retinoid, it has moderate strength and cause no irritation. Squalane prevents your skin from flaking. It is an alternative to retinol that delivers better results without the irritation. You might find vitamin A, retinol, retin A or retinoids on internet, so I'm going to briefly explain it. Retinoid is the umbrella term and we can find retinoic acid, retinoin and also retinols. Just to let you know, retinols are the products that are over the counter and there's no need for any prescription. And retinoic acid, retinoin or retin A, you definitely need the prescription from the dermatologist. I recommend using vitamin A when you're over 25 years old. I recommend using vitamin A once per week and then you can work your way up and to use vitamin A twice per week. And I'm going to use my eye repair cream from CeraVe. Just a reminder, you don't have to go up to the waterline in order to moisturize your eye wax. always use your ring finger in order to pat pat the cream around your eyes. I'm waiting for the vitamin A to sink into my skin and it's very important to moisturize especially whenever you're using vitamin A because your skin might get dry. My all-time favorite product from CeraVe. I'm using the moisturizing lotion. It has ceramides, niacinamide, and also hyaluronic acid. Don't use any other product that contains chemical exfoliants. Again, AHA or BHA. Just a quick reminder, you should use vitamin A retinoids only at night time before going to sleep. <laughs> this is because retinoids makes your skin more sensitive to UV rays. So for the next morning, 
please, please, please wear sunscreen. And I'm finishing my routine by using the ordinary rose hip seed oil to lock all the products. This step again is completely optional, but since we are in winter time, I need something that can lock everything, all the moisture in order not to get dehydrated from sleeping. And that's it! I hope you find using retinoids less intimidating. I started a few months ago, but also, I have to be honest, I was not being too consistent since I've just started. And also, I just follow the skincare routine only once per week. But I'm going to start using retinoids twice per week. Thank you so much for watching this video, my lovely people. I really appreciate you. I hope you like it. And if that's the case, please thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I'm going to share more videos like this in the future. And now I'm ready to sleep. Thank you so much, guys. See you next time.